Adele Farutimi, the spokesperson of Labour Party presidential candidate. Peter B has reacted to a tweet by Festus Kiyamu, the spokesperson of the All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate. Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Sinumbu. Kiyamu was trying to defend the incoherent statements his presidential candidates made in a video said in his tweet. He said, listen to the sense of humor of at official Bola Ahmed Tinubu. He says he prefers a proper town hall meeting to the gibberish his opponents say elsewhere. He practically demonstrates the gibberish they say by altering those tongue twisting words to show the nonsense his opponents say elsewhere. However, not pleased by what Kiyamu was trying to achieve, Farouk Simi reminded the APC spokesman of who he used to be, particularly when he was a young lawyer under the late human rights lawyer, Chief Dani Fawaini. He said, it is painful to watch you these days. You were the leading light in my generation, erudite, blessed, head and shoulders above your peers. What happened to you, the boy that you were, the young man that went to work for Ghani, would be ashamed of the man that you have become. Mm. For he uh, don't sell a man to the devil. He don't. What the Kiyamu they do now? They say eh, ah, we are going to be part of the people. We will share the national truth because the if you if you try to be on the truth, nothing will come out. So he joined them and they brought him. So made the Hukuma scatter the country. That is what this guy is doing. That is what this guy is doing. That is to tell you again that uh, one needs to be careful with all these people you think that uh, they love this country though they are saying the right thing. Maybe because the majority of them have not been able to get uh, involved or they've not been able to get to the corridor of power. That is why you see that uh, maybe they are, you think they are still patriotic but in the real sense they, they, they've not gotten the opportunity. When they get the opportunity you see the way they will be misbehaving. Just like uh, this man too. Ushumole. People liked Ushumole then, but as soon as you join politics, you know, you join them, begin to speak their language. When you are the other side, you speak the other side language. When you are at this side, you speak this line, this uh, side language. That is exactly what is happening. They were never patriotic at all. Yes, what happened to him, the boy that he was, the young man that went to work for Ghani, would be ashamed that you have become the man that you have become. This is a word of wisdom. Kiyamu is fond of defending every nonsense, senior advocate of nonsense. First of Kiyamu would defend Tinubu even if he defecates at the market square. He has been well paid to do so. So he would defend anything. He's working for his money. And it's unfortunate that this kind of people you think they are well-read, they are supposed to be the voice of the people. He has delayed. I don't understand the kind of money they are looking for. Uh -huh, because their mindset when you, well, so you don't believe in your self-worth you believe until when you're giving dirty money to do something then you can you'll be you know you already arrive first us remember you have future higher of you don't take because of this to spoil it i beg you how was worry rally <laughs> you don't need to advise him future okay you don't already not enough when he was young he was doing the right thing and when he called hood now now he's a man. When he was a boy, he was doing the right thing. Now he's a man. He has, he's doing the wrong thing. So you expect him to, at what age, you think he's going to repent? Indeed, the guy is a humongous embarrassment in all ramifications. All Tinubu spokespersons have lost all human shame and are past caring what anybody thinks uh, of them. Their conscience have been seared with hot iron. They are only interested in the dollars Jagaban does out for them. They must surely give account of what they did with their time, mouth, and others during this period. All of them, will, if anyone knows any of them who still have any iota of shame or morals, should tell me who the person is among them. First of all, what happened to you? Who did this? Who did this to you? I mean. For how much or were you not blessed enough? I tell you, like I said, he was not blessed enough. Conventiousness. Uh -huh. What you have is not enough. You just want to be there. Then you can do anything. My heart bleeds 
for you. You were never like this. Who did like Muhammad, money and position? He who plays the pipers, the take the tune, the paymasters will always be in control of delusional intelligence and unguarded morals. After this election season, we will show you your report card, Festus Kiyamu, but for now, thunder fire you. Kiyamu has gone local. He is now living a fake life through his master. Some people can't even... I don't understand, okay? Mr. Dele is full of wisdom. We need more of his kind. This is a wise word. Dele Faro Simi, may the Almighty God continue to bless you immensely. For your reaction to Kiyamu's attempts to defend Tinubu's blunders, you express my sentiments exactly when I mean, how can somebody that was so promising in terms of upholding our traditional principles of unquestionable integrity, impeccable character, Transparency, honesty. How can the same person descend so low to the points we are seeing today, all in the name of policy? It is unbelievable. Seriously unbelievable. So don't uh, be able to defend uh, the inevitable. Shame on you. It is all the devil's fault. Their face lying. Kiyamu is cursed. Even his dead master, Gani, will never forgive him. Uh, Kiyamu is a disgrace. Before they say, they say that Igbo man like money pass, but some other tribe can collect peanuts to end their career. Kiyamu, Femi, Fanika, Ode, Dino, and Renu, the small goods, all are example. When purpose is not defined, abuse is inevitable. Festus is a disgrace to his mentor, Gani. Kiyamu has eaten the, his vomit long ago. The man has become so useless that Lai Muhammad is even far better than him, of course, because he is just jumping like Kure or Skure. This is another demon APC is breeding to replace Lai Muhammad. APC supporters call black white, no atom of truth in them. Tinumbu have problem and forget easily. Kayamu, a lawyer supporting the drug baron, and William Van Money Londra. Let's see if Tinumbu been rigged in as president, if any of you will talk about drug or money. Laundry in the country. They get shame. Now what for you? They get shame. They don't get shame. They go to talk. Now they tell you say everything. Keep worry good now. It's fine. When you know say that is not the right thing. He has been bewitched with APC broom. Anyone who dines with the witches and wizards in APC automatically becomes a fool. Festus Kiyamu is a senior advocate of nonsense. So it is his chosen career to defend every nonsense from Tinubu and APC. So unfortunate that a promising career is ending this way don't be surprised this is the meaning of policies of nigeria you can see how politicians of this country behave they abuse uh adesina if adesina we want to say if if say husbands adams small like like mohammed evil garbage in politics nigeria black is white and white is black Kandu is electricity and electricity electricity is Kandu. Have you ever seen a country like that in the world? This is a rhetorical question. So guys, let's say your opinion and I will take on this.